Indonesia is a tropical country with abundant natural resources. It has large areas of peat swamp and peatland on three major islands, Sumatra, Kalimantan, and Papua. One of the major problems triggered by use of peatland is greenhouse gas emissions, which contribute to global warming. Jambi province in Indonesia is home to huge areas of peat swamp and peatland, some of which have been cleared and converted for agriculture, including for plantations. One collaborative effort between researchers and other partners has tried to find alternative solutions through a pilot project in Tanjung Jabung Barat district in Jambi. 40% of the district is covered by peat swamp and degraded peatland, which has been used to various degrees. A pit swamp is actually a massive lake filled with decayed trees and other vegetation, buried and inundated for tens of thousands of years. These organic materials contain various chemicals, one of which is carbon. The trees and vegetation grown on the surface of the pit serve as carbon stores, capturing carbon dioxide produced by various air pollutants. Logging to clear the pit swamp and convert it to agricultural land results in a loss of carbon storage. In addition, when a pit swamp is drained by canal construction, this triggers even higher emissions of carbon dioxide as well as other greenhouse gases. The drain pit is prone to fire. Once it burns, it creates environmental and health problems because of the smoke. Research has found that cleared and drained peatland continues to emit greenhouse gases but at a slower rate. Kami di Ikraf menganggap pentingnya untuk mengatasi permasalahan terkait degradasi lahan gambut secara menyeluruh. Baik dari sisi penyebabnya, konsekuensinya seperti terhadap perubahan iklim, dan juga pencarian solusinya. Oleh karena itu, melalui suatu program yang bernama Secured Landscape, Ikraf bersama dengan pemerintah daerah dan para pihak terkait, mendorong pembangunan rendah emisi di Kabupaten Tanjung Jabung Barat, Jambi, yang memiliki lahan gambut yang luas. Land use in Tanjung Jabung Barat district has been developed mainly by migrants who came to the district from other parts of Indonesia. They planted different cash crops, such as coconut, coffee, arecanat, and oil palm. Waktu itu begitu kita melihat kondisi di sini, kami tertarik akan lahan di sini karena sebelum kami sudah ada kawan banyak di sini. Jadi waktu itu saya masih kerja dengan ikut orang tua, juga sudah belajar cara bercocok tanam kopi. Namun sebelum itu dalam persiapan lahan ini memang kami masih keadaan hutan, Pak. Jadi Langkah-langkah uh, awalnya kami menebang hutan itu. Industrial timber plantations also flourish in the district. In order to maintain the remaining pit swamped forest and to rehabilitate the degraded parts, the government declared 15,000 hectares of forest as hutan lindung gambut or protection forest on peatland. Protection forest status prohibits land clearing and agricultural development. Mostly because many people were not aware of the functions and prohibitions or did not consider them important. People have continued to clear pit swamp forests despite the protection status. This issue has created conflict between communities and the government. 
ada lahan kita yang memang sebenarnya itu uh, hutan lindung gambut. Kerusakan uh, hutan lindung gambut itu sudah mencapai uh, hampir 40 persen. Dan kita minta juga di perusahaan HTI itu karena dia cukup besar menguasai hutan kami, itu uh, sedapatnya 10 persen itu harus dikelola untuk tanaman kehidupan. Dan ini menurut hitungan kami ini dapat menurunkan uh, emisi gas rumah kaca ini. Pendekatan utama kami adalah penguatan kapasitas kepada pemerintah daerah dan petani terkait perencanaan wilayah, pengelolaan hutan dan lahan berbasis masyarakat, dan pembangunan praktek-praktek agroforestry. One effort to find a solution is through trials of agroforestry. One commodity crop in the trials is jelutung, a species of tree endemic to the peat swamps. The latex from jelutung used to be commercially attractive for some industrial products like bubblegum. Researchers, farmers, and the district forestry office are collaborating to test different planting combinations for jelutung, such as with rubber, coffee, fruit trees, and pineapple. In order to find practices that can benefit local livelihoods and also help rehabilitate the peatland, to resolve land conflicts while also improving livelihoods and rehabilitating paid land. Community-based forestry management licenses, such as Hutan Kemasyarakatan or HKM, can be a win-win solution. The license serves as a non-financial incentive for the community who are required to rehabilitate the pit land while also using it for their livelihoods. To speed the process of submitting an HKM license proposal to the Ministry of Environment and Forestry, the capacities of farmers groups and local governments have had to be strengthened, and discussion held with governments in each place. Many activities were undertaken by district forestry office staff and farmers groups, such as training sessions in participatory mapping, planting and managing jelutung trees, and others related to building the institutional capacity of farmers' groups. All these efforts have improved relations between farmers and the government, both during the proposal development and submission processes, as well as building relationships at district and provincial levels. Kami dipasilitasi dan dibantu oleh kawan-kawan dari Krab untuk melakukan pemetaan secara parsi sifatif. Terus, mengidentifikasi tanaman yang ada di dalam ke wilayah kelola kami masing-masing. Dan setelah semuanya itu kami siapkan, kami berusaha untuk membuat proposal yang diajukan ke Bupati dalam rangka memperoleh izin HKM. Mereka sudah mengerti mengenai apa itu daya dukung lingkungan ya, dan mereka ikut serta merehabilitasi lahannya hutan itu dengan jelutung, tingkat pendapatan petani yang ada di sana ya, bisa juga meningkat. 